What's up guys? Welcome to Mikey Yourself and today is Review Wednesday. Today's going to be a little bit different kind of Review Wednesday in that we're going to actually install something which I typically do on Sundays but we're going to take a look at the product and the reason I'm doing this is twofold. One, it's it's very simple like this is going to be relatively quick as far as level of complexity. It's It's not complex at all. It's going to be a set of four nuts or whatever and Really, it's uh, also because I wanted to provide feedback on the product that I got. Um, because in doing my own research, I found that there were some issues with off-brand items related to this. So, let's take a quick look at this. As you know, I've been going through blue with a fine-tooth comb to find out all the little things that needed to be replaced. Because I want to go after that stuff first before I start you know, doing any kind of modifications that are really just about beauty, right? Like the aesthetics of the bike. Um, so going through, going through, I've identified the floorboards. Those need to be done. And in the process of cleaning things up, I found that the, the rubber grommets that the windshield go to are horrific. These things are, are really bad. And let's take a quick look here. You could see how chewed up and torn those are and probably because you know over the years being a 2007 windshield has come off it's been put back on who knows how many times i've done it probably 25 times since i've had it uh just in the you know uh process of cleaning and and inspecting and stuff like that so i was like okay that's something that's got to be replaced i did my typical let me go to Amazon, take a look at it. Let me Google it. Let me find part numbers, all that kind of stuff. And what I was finding is on the lower cost ones, um, a lot of people were having issues with them fitting. So they were too big or something like that. Um, and then the other thing was that they were too hard. So let's take a look at the ones I got. Based on all that feedback that I was reading through the different reviews, I went ahead and got with Drag Specialties, got their product. And, you know, it's, I want to say these were probably half the price of what you get if you pay for uh, OEM straight from Harley. And, you know, Drag Special, I've had a lot of their products, especially on my old Softail that I had. <clears throat> a ton of Drag products or Drag Specialty products on that bike and didn't have any issues with them. So they have been around for a very long time from what I understand. And they're kind of one of the bigger names. So... <clears throat> It comes in a pack of four. If you get the ones from Harley, they actually come with the replacement. When I saw this, this is a nut, but when you undo this, you actually get the um, stud as well. So whatever you want to call that, nut stud or something like that. Anyhow, so it should be a simple remove and replace. And again, the, the guys, the reviews that I was reading said that folks were having issues with this stuff fitting. They, they actually were having to file them down to get the, the hook of the windshield across that. So let's pull off the windshield and we'll put it aside on a nice um, uh, sheet there so that way I don't get any scratches and we'll take a look at these. As I mentioned, this is the area that hooks onto those grommets and the folks were saying that, I guess the grommets they had bought were too big. So they were having to file them down. So looking at these old ones, we're gonna pull these off and you can see that thing is just tore up from the floor up, right? We'll get those off and compare them to the drag specialties. You know, when you're looking at this, it looks like it's soft rubber. But as I go at it with my fingernail, it's pretty hard. So I don't know if those people that were complaining about the material being too hard for theirs. And again, I saw it across different brands that... Maybe that's actually normal. I don't know if they were thinking that it's supposed to be soft rubber. And it makes sense that it's not to some extent. And that if it was too soft, when you tighten this thing down, you'd be struggling because you'd be smashing it all the time. It would be hard to slide your windshield in and out of. And um, it makes sense that it would be rubber just because of the vibration of the bike. That you wouldn't want it kind of shaking like nuts. So you'd want something like that rubber. Uh, grommet to eat up some of those vibrations so i could see it either way i don't know let's take one of these off and take a look 
Now we've got the side by side, let's see if I can get a little bit more light over here. There we go. And these are, you can't really see it, but it looks like they cover everything from 2000 to 2017. And then they throw this big old label on the way there. But so this is the one I just pulled off of the bike. And you can see it's torn and just, I mean, it's old, right? And literally, if this is from 2007, it's not too bad for being that old. And here's the new one. Now, like I said, filling it, yeah, it feels actually a little bit softer than, yeah, it feels softer than the original. So maybe these are, maybe this is even an aftermarket one. Who knows? It just didn't withstand the test of time. Um, but like I said, it's it's easy to come come out. You just undo the nut and it, the nut shaft, right? Um, you kind of just put your grommet here in between the mounting bracket that's holding your passing light, passing light bar on. Shoot it through and you, you tighten it down. Now I'm gonna take a look. I don't know what the spec is off the top of my head. I'm gonna take a look to see if that should be torqued to a particular value. I would imagine you'd want it to be because you probably don't wanna crush this thing, which I'm sure a lot of people do is they just kind of, you know, elbow check it and, and call it good as far as the torque goes but uh I'm, I'm gonna take a look take a look real quick and we'll torque it down to the appropriate value see how it looks and then we'll knock out the uh the last three. First one is on i've tightened it up i looked around i didn't see anything uh, i found like on the harley website <clears throat> a bunch of other types of windshields like clamping style ones and but nothing that would give me the torque value of these. So I started scanning the forums and everybody was talking about how simple it is, which I get it. Um, and I think the best advice I saw there was just tighten it down. Don't go crazy. That's totally the same kind of advice I typically give people on certain things. So I'm going to run with that. First one's in. I'll do the remaining three and then we'll test fit the windshield to make sure it's able to to, to dock as expected. I just removed this bottom one and it looks like it used to have some Loctite on it. So I want to stay consistent with that kind of stuff, especially because like this bike definitely vibrates <laughs> quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and remove that, clean it up, clean up the bolt, put a little bit of Loctite on it and put it back in. Same kind of tightening deal, but now with Loctite, makes a little bit more sense so uh yeah let me get on this clean that up and get it reinserted i'm telling you looking at these old ones man like somebody's dog got a hold of them or something these things were beat the hell these things are pretty chewed up and again so the the i think uh ebay it was like 20 bucks 19 something right uh free shipping so 20 bucks you get these replaced got the new ones on there and now we just need to to see if the windshield goes on with no issue so let's try that out okay so you bump this on you just put the bottom forks on first make sure they're lined up right in the middle of that grommet and we'll hit the sides because i'm sure that'll jack them up too and those fit in there perfect no issues with that now we just line up our sides here like a glove well there you go that's simple very simple doesn't get much easier than that so went on no problems um yeah so if you're looking to replace yours and you're concerned about the reviews like I was, Drag Specialties, their, their replacement grommets seem to be working perfect. I don't have any fitment issues in there. I didn't have to shave them down like the other guys that I found on Amazon were doing. So 20 bucks, like the other guys on Amazon, I think they were about the same price, maybe $16. So if you're really, really, you know, clamping down in your budget, then just know you may have to shave them down a little bit on the inside. But uh, if you can spring for the extra four bucks, which I totally recommend, um, drag specialties. Uh, go ahead and plug in for that.
and it fits just fine. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us on this hybrid review Wednesday. Um, like I said, it was a little bit of a max mashup of reviewing the product uh, just because of those those questionable pieces or, or, or information from the reviews that I read. I, I just wanted to bring it out like right up front. Do the installation. It, it doesn't get easier. Don't pay anybody to do that. Like literally, if you have a wrench, you can do this, right? That's all you literally need, a wrench. Um, take care of it. 20 bucks, get you the drag specialties version. If you want the Harley Davidson version, which comes with the replacement um, nut stud things, whatever the hell those things are called, um, I think it was like 34 bucks or whatever, you know, plus tax and, and maybe you have to pay shipping. I don't know. Depends. Uh, but for 20 bucks, you can't beat it. It fits perfect. Now, based on, you know, looking at the product, look sound doesn't look overly stiff in fact like i said they were softer than the ones that i was pulling out of there which i do not know if they're oem or not they didn't have like a harley stamp or anything on them so who knows right um but they went on just fine they fit i didn't have to shave anything down which is exactly what those other guys were saying is they were having to shave it down because it was too big they couldn't get their windshield to slide onto them so in this particular case perfect fit good stuff so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If uh, you want to see more of the content, become a member of the community. We look forward to having you join. Um, I really appreciate everybody's input, feedback, and look forward to those comments. And, you know, if you wouldn't mind, like, if you've seen that, it's not, it wasn't Loctite or, or, or I don't know what the heck. It was almost like a glue that was on those, those bolts when I pulled them out. Um, so if you know what that is, drop it in the comments below. I've never seen it before. It wasn't blue. It wasn't red. Um, it was like a yellowish tint. So I don't, maybe they put wood glue. Who knows what the hell that was, right? I don't know. But I've replaced it with some blue Loctite, and maybe that's the wrong thing to do, and I just don't know it. Um, but, yeah, give it a run. Anyhow, if you enjoyed the video, become a member. And if you don't want to miss out on that next one, hit the notification bell. That way you get the buzz buzz to let you know the next Mike It Yourself video is posted. And until that video posts, I hope to see you in the wind.